and welcome back to Inside the Digital Media Zone. I am Jessica Abo, the founder of Jabo TV, here with Minister Torek Ibrahim. Now, you are the Minister of Environment and Energy of the Maldives, and you played an instrumental role in helping the Maldives rebuild after the tsunami and the, the islands that, you know, the nine islands that you were trying to keep going. Today, in terms of the SDGs, what do you want to do to keep the areas that are under your watch going strong in, in the face of future natural disasters? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the resilience uh, is something in, very important because when 2004 tsunami struck Maldives, almost the whole nation was uh, submerged you know, and then some of the islands was really totally destructed and uh, we had to move people out. And now that we have built, we built, we our main purpose of building is building it back, building back better. And in that way, we, we have a term uh, called safer island concept where we want to build it back, back better and uh, to have a proper planned uh, islands and to be a safer island. So we manage to put features there because we don't have higher grounds in Maldives. So whenever there is a tsunami or whenever there is a coastal or uh, 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 high sea level, uh, anything happening with the waves. So we, we don't have a high ground to go up. So we have, we, what we said was we have to have vertical evacuation system. So where we build schools, uh, mosques, and other government offices, stores, two-story high where people go, go up and then have a safe shelter. So what we, as, as the question you ask, we need to build back better and we need to educate people. Education is very important. And plus, uh, whatever we build should has to, has to be built better and properly. And we need to have some, some form of standards built in to build it better. So that uh, in the next time that uh, there will be any uh, severe destruction and people are educated to go for shelters. So I think those are the key words on this. And what can we be doing here in New York City and around the world to support you? If, if we want to get involved and support you through the SDGs, how can we how can we do that from around the globe? Yeah, it's sustainability. When, when we are building uh, uh, the, the islands, when we are developing the islands, so sustainable use of everything, like uh, the energy we, we, we have on the islands, as of now, is we feel imported uh, f uh, from abroad and uh, it is uh, used for generating the electricity. So if we wanted to have uh, more sustainable use of energy, we need to start using renewable energy in the islands and uh, also to have uh, energy efficiency in the islands. And then these are the things uh, and also have a better form of construction that is less destructive to our environment because all this, uh, everything depends on our environment. Our economy depends on our environment. Our fishing depends on our environment. If we, if we actually have uh, something uh, that, we, that, that disturbs our environment, that destroys our environment, then it will directly affect our, our economy. So we don't want to do anything that destroys our economy. So sustainability is important. And number one, if we wanted to have uh, renewable energy, so that means we can save uh, uh, our funds, our money to, for our uh, other development use. So renewable energy or uh, energy efficiency and renewable energy is important. So government has taken initiative within the next uh, three years to have 30% of daytime requirement of all the inhabited islands. That's we have about 196 inhabited islands in the Maldives to have renewable energy on the energy mix daytime. So it's it's a very uh, 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 the target is. Uh, we wanted to achieve that target within the next three years and then move on thereafter to become more, ener more uh, energy efficient. And also government is putting a lot of uh, regulation and a lot of help to the private sector to bring in more renewables for their, for their use. So these are the things. And then uh, in the environmental side, whatever we do uh, uh, on, on development we do, we wanted to make sure uh, that uh, it is done sustainability sust in a sustainable way uh, and also uh, that uh, all the uh, negative effects of uh, uh, the development so the impacts are studied and uh, reduced 
on every project. So we make sure all the projects go through a rigorous uh, 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 EIA environmental impact assessment before a project uh, proceeds. Well, it sounds like you are working so hard to make the world a better place and that we can be doing more on our part to be more environmentally friendly and energy sure. friendly. Minister, yeah. thank you so much yeah. for your time.